I'm going to show how to use Music.io to send and receive MIDI from your iOS device to Ableton Live on your Mac. So we're going to start with Music.io on the iPad. My iPad is connected via a Lightning USB cable, standard Lightning USB cable to my Mac. So I launch Music.io and it shows from the beginning as disconnected with the gray circle. I'm going to launch Music.io on the Mac. And that also starts with the gray circle, but then that turns green and it also turns green on the iOS device. So I know that we're connected for both audio and MIDI. Um, now we're gonna do something with that. So on the iOS device, I'm going to open a MIDI controller. So I open MIDI Designer Limited. And if I go into the config for MIDI Designer Limited, I can see that Music I.O. is already wired up as a hardware and virtual source and a hardware and virtual destination. And this is true with any uh, MIDI controller you'd use on iOS, thanks to Core MIDI, it would be connected. And now when I move the knob in MIDI Designer, or a knob in MIDI Designer, you can automatically see on the Mac that it's lighting up the five MIDI pins, meaning that MIDI is flowing at least from the iOS device to the Mac. So now let's do something with that MIDI and get it flowing in the other direction. So I'm going to open Ableton Live on my Mac. And I'm going to go to the Preferences to check out the MIDI configuration. So I go to Live, Preferences, and I click on the MIDI tab. And here you can see that I've got Music I.O. coming in for track and remote and going out for track and remote. So if those are not on, you have to enable them. Now I'm going to right click on a slider. So I'm just gonna right click on this third audio slider and go to edit MIDI map. And now that slider is ready to be mapped. So I'm gonna map it to this knob. So when I twiddle, I'm gonna shorten this. So now when I twiddle this knob, we're gonna see this slider get mapped up. So I move the knob and I move the knob and the slider gets mapped. And now I'm gonna exit out of MIDI mapping mode and you can see that the slider moves when I move the knob in MIDI designer. And interestingly, vice versa, when I move the slider in Ableton Live, it moves the knob in MIDI designer. And that's basically uh, what we need to show. Let's just show how this works with a bit of music, but it's the exact same thing. So you can see that this is uh, pretty close to zero latency, a few milliseconds going in either direction, and we've got MIDI going between our iOS device and Ableton Live. And that's the first video of the three. In the second video, we're going to show audio instruments, and in the third video, we're going to show audio effects loops. Thanks for watching, and thanks for checking out Music.io.